Hey guys, it's Juana. So today I have a review and lip swatch video on my um, Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvets collection. I've got 10 shades here. They do have heaps more shades in the range, but I've only got 10. So um, most of this was purchased by me and like four shades were sent to me by the PR company. Um, so yeah, um, absolutely love these and I want to share with you guys my thoughts on them and what shades I have and like swatch it for you guys so it's easier for you guys to purchase. So if you guys didn't know, Bourjois is a French brand, it's a drugstore brand, um, it's cheaper in Europe but in Australia they kind of in the higher side of the drugstore so these actually retail for $24 a piece and it's available at Priceline um, you can also find Bourjois at ASOS.com if you wanted to buy it online or Priceline.com.au um, so yeah as I said I have 10 shades here and these are liquid lipstick so these are called rouge edition velvets um which is they're not a total matte liquid lipstick they're more of a velvety liquid lipstick sorry my hands are stained from swatching so the formula in these are very like moussey and like gel like texture so um you know when you kind of like putting it on it's not like very liquidy it's more like moussey like um let's swatch this shade here pink pong and then you can like see how it's it's gel like like it's thick moussey um but yeah the color payoff is amazing um they actually look better on the lips than they swatch um yeah like they don't swatch as well as they swatch on the lips so this is one of the shades um they fully dry down to a velvety finish they're not matte um and they will transfer so because it's not a full matte they will transfer but they are super comfortable they last all day on your lips and um they also the darker shade stains so even when it rubs off it doesn't look weird this is what the packaging looks like it is a square like short um plastic tube um and it also just has a just a regular doe fruit applicator so that's really it you get 7.7 mils of product. Yeah, that's really it. Um, what I have to say about it. Yeah, they do say they're matte finish, but they don't say it's like transfer proof. So it's a velvety finish. Um, yeah, and they have heaps of shades, so definitely check it out. I've got 10 here that I want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, they also take a while to dry down on the lips. Like you put it on and it at least takes like a good three to five minutes to fully dry down since it's a little bit thick um, it takes a while to dry it down but once it's dried it's beautiful the lighter shades need a bit of lip liner to work with otherwise um, like for darker skin because I have naturally darker lips it can show through so I like using a lip liner but with darker shades I can just wear it on its own um, and one more thing is a scent I don't really like the scent it doesn't smell great but it goes away you know once you put it on so you know like anyways um, I'm gonna jump and show you the swatches on my lips and on my hands and um, tell you guys as I go through each color how they perform on my lips so let's get started so the first shade I have here is number 10 don't pink of it and it is a light pink color this is what it looks like. This on my lips is a little bit streaky because I have darker lips naturally. So you can see my lips through it a little bit. But with a darker lip liner, I can make it work. But um, it's not too light for my skin tone. I can 
get away with it um, without even wearing a lip liner but the only thing is it's a bit streaky so I like to wear a lip liner underneath this but it's a beautiful soft pink colour. The next shade I have here is number 16, Honey Mood, and it is a very light peachy, neutral peachy kind of a colour. This is what it looks like. This is, again, not too light for my skin tone. It is like the lightest of the peach I can go with. Um, again, because it is light, you can see like my lip colour through it a little bit, so... Um, a lip liner would be great and yeah I really like it the one thing I want to say about this color is that it's clinging on to any dry patches but you know once I exfoliate my lips like it's fine so um, yeah I really like the color it's a really nice summery peachy color love it the next shade I have here is number 17, Cool Brown, and this is the perfect nude colour. It is like a neutral brown that is a nude for a, you know, tanned complexion. I really, really, really like this colour. This has a beautiful formula. It applies really smoothly, and as you can see, it's a really pretty nude so on lighter skin this will be a perfect like medium brown color i love it it's not too dark it's not too light i absolutely love it the next shade i have here is number nine happy nude here and this is a medium bright neutral pink color I can wear this on its own and it is fine. Um, just like the other pink, this is a little bit streaky because my lips are again too dark, but I can still get away with it without a lip liner as long as I don't have any dry patches on my lips. So I absolutely love this. Um, yeah, I would say one of my favorites. It's a really pretty pink color. The next shade I have here is number 7, Nudist, and this is a mauvey medium pink colour. Um, it's not as bright as the previous one because this is more mauvey, but it's still not a very, like, nude colour. It's a pinky nude, but you can still say that you're wearing lipstick, if you get what I mean. It's not like a very in-your-face colour, but it's still kind of that nudey pink. I hope that makes sense, but I absolutely love this colour, I love it. It's super pretty, it's super just, it's lovely, I love this colour so much. The next shade I have here is number 6, Pink Pong, and this is a beautiful vibrant blue based pink color oh, it's super vibrant super pretty super springy love it i would totally rock this in spring i absolutely love this color it just makes a bold statement but yeah it, and it's bright i love it i love bright shades so that is pink pong The next shade I have here is number two, Framboise. Fram Framboise. I don't know, I'm not French, but it is a beautiful, like, strawberry red colour. Like, it's just like that strawberry red. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love this colour. It's so pretty. It's not like a vibrant red, but it's like a deep pinky red. It's just beautiful. I love it. So, one of my favorites shade. And, yeah. The shade I have here is number 5, Ole Flamingo. And this was my 
first purchase um, of the Rouge Edition Velvet. I absolutely love this colour. I The day I swatched it in the store and I was like, yes, need it. It's just a beautiful pink colour that just complements every skin tone. It is bright, um, but it's not like too in your face. It's just beautiful. It's like a warm toned pink colour. I love it. My favourite. Sorry about the messy application and also um, it's not fully dried here but this is number one Personne Rouge um, and it's just a beautiful warm toned red. I really 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 like it. It's warm toned but it's more like neutral. It's not too warm orangey or like it's not too deep either. I really like this red. Um, you know, a really nice it's it's a nice red. It's pretty, I love it. Another messy application, but this is in the shade number eight, Grand Cru, and this is a beautiful deep cherry red colour. It falls more into like a maroon. I absolutely love it. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. So um, once it dries, it's like, you know, just beautiful. So um, yeah, I really like this color. It's just a bold, nice winter color. Love it. And that's my last Rouge Edition Velvet. So that was the swatches. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if they were helpful and if you like the shades or uh, let me know if you've already tried this and what you think of it and what your favourite shades are. And yeah, I had to do this video because it was highly requested. But yeah, let me know what other lip swatch videos you want to see and I will try to do them. So yeah, please like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video.